I'm here with Peter Richardson of Rocket Software. If, Peter, if you could just explain what you do within Rocket for me, that'd be lovely. Yes, um, so my name is Peter Richardson. I'm on the uh, business intelligence side of, of Rocket. Uh, and I work very closely with Susie's team uh, to build uh, YouTube Data View. So I am the development uh, manager for the YouTube Data View product. Okay, what exactly is Data View and why would I use it? Well, we consider Data View to be the uh, reporting services component of our YouTube data service. So much like Microsoft Reporting Services is the presentation solution um, for SQL Server data, uh, we've built DataView to be the tool of choice when presenting universe and unidata data to your end users. Okay, now there are other tools out there on the market. How does DataView differ from them? Yeah, uh, we, we feel that um, you know, clearly we've built a data view to work extremely well with universe and unidata. Um, so one key distinction there is most tools require that you stage your data in a relational data source, or at least normalize your data into a, a relational form. Uh, with U2 Data View, you can directly go against um, your universe and unidata uh, data sources. You don't have to stage that. Um, we have great querying capabilities. Uh, we have a very good and, and powerful uh, visual uh, report designer. Uh, and where we really stand out from the crowd is our dashboarding capabilities. Uh, so we, we've built a tool which allows you as a content developer uh, to build what effectively is a visual application. Um, it, it, it's a dashboard, but it behaves more like something that you would otherwise require custom programming to develop. Um, so rather than resorting to Java or, or C Sharp development, you can use DataView to build a visual application which is highly interactive. Uh, you can use list boxes and, and, and combos and uh, command buttons as well as a wide variety of graphical presentation items. Uh, and that allows you to build a solution which very closely matches what your customer is looking for or what your know, customer in terms of either if you're a reseller, uh, your, your, your companies that you service, or if you're an end user, uh, the business users that require access to your data. Um, so we really excel on the dashboarding side and we've extended a lot of those visual components down to the page-based reporting too. Um, so that's where we really differentiate ourselves. Okay. Um, I mean, when you were talking about the data sources, can it be used with other data sources as well as U2? Yeah, we, we do have a, a licensing requirement that at least one U2 data server be involved in your, uh, your solution, be it a report solution or a dashboard solution. Uh, but DataView is equally capable of drawing data from relational data sources as well as multi-dimensional OLAP servers. Um, so we support virtually any relational data source. Anything that has a JDBC driver um, can be used with DataView. And in terms of the multi-dimensional data sources, anything that has an XMLA driver, um, so an XMLA uh, protocol basically, uh, can also be used. And, and that currently uh, includes most of the popular OLAP servers out there, SQL Server Analysis Services, uh, DB2 is all that. Um, we also support Hyperion, we support the SBase data server there, and we support SAP. There's also a very popular open source uh, OLAP server called Mondrian, and that is also supported in DataView. So effectively, we pull data from pretty much any enterprise data store, be it relational, multi-value, or multi-dimensional. Wow. Now, 1.1 is currently out there and it's available, but I believe the version 2 is in beta. What sort of difference is, how will the product change and can you go straight from one to the other? You can, you can certainly move from 1.1 to 2 and, and we started the development for 2 as we were wrapping up version 1. Um, you'll see that we've got a, a very aggressive um, development schedule against DataView. DataView will be you know, heavily uh, um, in, invested in development wise um, for, for the you know, many years to come. It's a strategic product for us. What we're doing effectively is, is adding additional capabilities. We're not changing the functionality that is already in the product, we're just adding more to 
uh, the feature set. So in version one, we focused on, on delivering a good dashboard development environment, a good report designer, and great querying capabilities. In version two, we're augmenting all of that um, with additional uh, data presentation options targeting business end users. Um, so we, you know, in this case, um, business end users can select from existing data sets and rapidly build charts which present that information in interesting ways, in ways that they would like to see the data. And so that can be done very readily um, without any technical expertise. Uh, we've also added for our content developers, the people who are building the more sophisticated and capable dashboards and reports, we've added capabilities which allow you to do more post-processing on the data once it comes back from the data service. Uh, so for example, you can run conditional cross-tabulations of the data, uh, you can normalize data, um, you can just tabulate it across uh, several dimensions. Uh, we've also added predictive analytics capabilities. So as a content developer, you can take some time series data and then um, have data view predict the next three months or the next six months of, of information from the actual data that you have. You can then drop that predictive data set onto a dashboard canvas or onto a report. Um, so we're adding capabilities, but we're not taking stuff away and we're not changing things. Um, so the bottom line there is, you know, Data View 1.1, um, you, you, that's available now as, as a release product. Anything that you build in 1.1 um, will work in 2.0 without any modifications whatsoever. There's no migration necessary. Uh, you'll just find in 2.0 there are additional features available for you to use. Okay. Now, how's it licensed? So we, we have two components, uh, effectively. We have the workstation component and we have the web component. Um, on the workstation side, we have the data view query offering. This is a free tool. Uh, this allows you to, uh, as suggested by the name, to, to develop queries. Um, so you can add your U2 data sources. That is limited to U2 data sources, in fact. Uh, you can build queries. Uh, you can apply side groupings to those queries. You can apply aggregations to the data, conditionally format them. You can save that query then uh, for other people to use. The query results can be exported to a PDF file. And all of that capability is offered free of charge in, in, the, in the free data view query tool. Uh, stepping up from there, we have the data view report tool. This is, allows you to build uh, page-based reports. These can be, um, you know, they, they can contain just tabular data, uh, or you've got a full-blown palette of, of graphical primitives, so a, a, a very uh, selection of charts. Uh, and other graphical widgets, um, and so those visual reports certainly, you know, provide more options to you. It gives you something which is more readily consumed by business end users. Um, stepping up from there, we have the data view dashboard offering, which contains everything in report, um, plus it also introduces the dashboards. So those are the three workstation offerings, and they're licensed on a per user basis. Um, once you've built that content. Obviously, you would like to make it available to business end users, and that's typically done through the web. We have two editions of Data View on the web. We have Data View uh, Report for the web, and we have Data View Dashboard for the web. And obviously, you use the reporting if you're distributing reports to web users. You use dashboards if you're distributing dashboards and reports to the web users. Those products are licensed on a concurrent user basis, and you can buy user packs in this 5, 10, 25, and so on. Uh, and I think you know, we're pretty confident that customers will find that we've priced data view extremely competitively. Okay. Now, anybody who's listened and it seems, sounds like a fascinating product, if they want to move forwards, how would you suggest they do that? Yeah, well, so data view 1.1 is available today. Um, I would suggest that uh, at least download the free query tool. Um, you can download that from the U2 website. Uh, we have a number of videos on the U2 Dev Zone which step you through uh, the configuration and how to get the most out of U2 uh, data view query. Uh, once you're familiar with that environment, you can then download a trial of the report or dashboard product. And certainly I, I think um, you know, we re recommend that people do that once they've got familiar with the query tool. Uh, you'll find we've, we've stocked the query uh, dashboard and report tools with a, a good selection of sample content. Uh, which is built directly into the product. So this gets you up and running pretty quickly. 
uh, you'll find there are more videos coming on DevZone um, and certainly get in touch with us if you'd like us to assist you uh, as you set up your, your dashboard and reporting projects. But version one is available now, it can be downloaded. I would suggest you, you grab the tool and, and grab the trials. We're also kicking off the version two beta that can be installed alongside 1.1. You don't have to have a separate system. You can, you can run those two concurrently. Uh, and take a look at the 2.0 features. As I say, it adds capabilities as opposed to changing them. Um, and we'd uh, appreciate your feedback on the beta program. Peter, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Peter Richardson from Rocket.